A couple days ago, I posted a poll on Instagram saying EP fibers or rabbit strips for the next tying tips video. And uh, judging by my desk, e EP fibers it is. Before we get started on the tying tips portion of this, I always have this this package thing. This package is from David Wilson. I need to mark out his address. Wait a second. Sir Brian Wise. Works if you ask me. <laughs> so the streamer tactics videos are getting started. Um, I'm hoping to drop the first one in July. They're gonna be really cool. It's a lot of work. So I shot the first video, the second video, and I think I'm gonna have to have some help on the third video. We'll kind of see how that goes. Rods and reels and lines and th those videos are shot. They're two totally separate videos. They're shot. They're good to go. Um, yeah, streamer tactics. It's gonna be good. Brian just wanted to drop you some stickers and swag, uh, some from my shop, some from my fishing ones, and some <laughs> some random ones. Yeah, I've learned a lot over the time when you work on the videos. Thanks for the time you invested. Blah blah blah. Thanks, Cicada Cicada Dave. Cicada Dave is a member of my Patreon and uh, very active. Dave, thanks, man. Appreciate it. I don't know if this is real. Ironclad Tattoo Gallery? Is that real? Just in case... Just in case you didn't... <laughs> These are awesome! Ironclad Tattoo Gallery. Proof of age and sobriety required. In case you guys didn't know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a tattoo fan. I have several tattoos and I have the, like the, the big the young like the young leg tattoo type of thing and yeah if these are stickers I'm gonna freak out a little bit because I've got some Johnny Cash <laughs> uh, Dave I I this is this is awesome man thank you very much I don't know where all these stickers are gonna go but I mean I've it this is this is crazy cool. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Great. Now I want another tattoo. So like I said earlier, the EP fibers video has been something that's been on my radar for a while. I got to the point where I think I tied. Uh, there's no telling how many of these I tied. EP clouds or minnows. This is the most efficient. One of the best ways to get a good, good bait fish fly. So EP fibers come in a few different types and textures and colors. The original EP fibers, whenever people think of EP fibers, they think of the the, the slightly crinkled, I don't know how good you can see that. That's what the people think of. One of my favorite things they do are the 3D fibers. The 3D fibers, the ones that have a bunch of different colors in there. So it, like this is backcountry, I think it's called backcountry. Um, but it's got a little bit of brown, olive, blue, uh, maybe some like gold. Everything kind of melts and blends together. It, it's a very, very good looking effect. But it's still the same fibers as the original. In addition to the regular EP fibers, they have these wavy ones. So we're just going to jump right into this. The first thing we're going to cover, I tie clouds or minnows out of EP fibers almost exclusively. Like, I, I don't remember the last time that I used bucktail on a clouds or minnow. I started using EP fibers and I will never look back. So I already have a hook prepped with an eye already on it. Everything's good to go. When I'm tying with EP fibers, I like to use mono thread. It's pretty strong but it it helps keep that translucent effect that I, I personally like because you can see through it 
Makes sense. So I'm going to start off with the original white EP fibers. The main thing you have to watch with EP fibers is a little goes a long way. Always remember that because the vast majority of the time when you tie these in, you're going to double it over on itself. So in effect, you're using twice as much as you originally tie in. So start off little, you'll be glad you did. What I'm going to do is wrap this around my thread, lay it on top. So in effect, I've got my one piece that's doubled over on itself. Now I'm going to run this back to the bend of the hook. So cutting EP fibers. You, you never want to cut EP fibers or really anything at this 90 degree angle if it's going to be a tail because you don't want it to be a straight up and down cut tail. We want to taper to it. So the easiest way to get a taper is to have some razor scissors. And what we're going to do is use actually this portion only. Uh, we're just going to keep them open. We're not going to close them, but we're going to push on it and let it kind of we're going to kind of saw at it. Automatically tapered. Super easy. So I love this little trick. So now we're going to use a real small strand of, of red EP fiber. This is a Clouser minnow, so this is actually the bottom of the fly. Right? So we're going to put gills in here right behind the eye, but we want it in the middle of the body. So we're going to turn this over. I'm going to tie these in right behind this eye. And I'm going to make just a little loop like that. Still staying on that side of the hook. Okay. This way if I get it too long, I can just kind of pull this in and it'll it'll get smaller. Kind of want it right in there. Bind it down. Cut it off. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side too. This gives a really neat gilling effect after the fly's done because like I said, this is so translucent. Okay, just like that. So now I'm going to take the 3D fibers. This color is anchovy. It's one of my favorite colors. And remember, a little bit goes a long way. So we're going to make the wing about this big and we're going to start it right behind the eye of the hook. I'm going to wrap my fibers around my bobbin then slide them down to the eye of the hook just like that. Now again, they're already doubled over for me so I can just bind this down just like this, whip finish. When I use mono for a thread, I will always glue it. It's about the only stuff that I glue. Let's put a little zap on there. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing to this wing as we did the tail. Just give it a good taper. Kinda looks funky and rough right there, but let me fix that. And you end up with a great, great Clouser minnow. So I'm guessing one of the main reasons most people are gonna watch this video are to get tips on tying an EP bait fish pattern. Straight EP bait fish pattern. And that's where we're going next. But before we get started on that, one of the biggest tips I can give you is prepare your materials. Oh, I just blew my stuff everywhere. Prepare your materials before you get started. Make sure you have everything set and ready to go and this fly will be done in no time. So I started by cutting my fibers to the lengths and thicknesses that I already want them to be in when I get ready to tie them on the hook. That way everything goes smooth, it's quick, easy. I started off with 3D gray EP fibers that I cut in half. Then I went to the original fibers that are just white that I cut in half. Then I went to the 3D fibers in purple that I cut into quarters, two sections. So I've got eight sections of that. So I've got a number one Kona Big Game Hunter in the vise. 
If you've ever seen the Flyman channel, that's my go-to thing. Check out the Flyman channel while you're there. I do their videos too. I'm gonna start off with the gray that I cut in half. So the longer gray. I'm gonna tie it in on top. And leave it. Now I'm gonna spin it over. I'm gonna grab the white and do the same thing. Now I'm gonna double both these over back on themselves. And the same thing again. Looks like crap so far. <laughs> now I'm gonna take the 3D purple, and, and this is where we almost stack this like deer hair. It's very, very similar. So I'm gonna make this pretty flat, okay? And, and when, I wrap, when I put it on the hook, I don't want it to stay on top of the hook. I want it to wrap around the hook. So I'm gonna kind of wrap these materials around the hook like that, if that makes sense. So I've got them flat, I'm gonna lay them down on the hook, 50-50, and wrap it around the hook. Now I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna leave some loose thread, and with no tension at all, no tension, I'm gonna make a complete wrap that's grabbing all those fibers, 360 degrees around the hook. Pull the fibers back. And keep going until we get the whole head done. This is probably where I'll speed it up like I usually do. That doesn't look good at all. So I'm gonna brush this, brush it actually kind of toward the eye of the hook a little bit just to flare it. We want it, we want it big and thick. So I always gauge my first cut by the hook. So I've got the hook point right here. So I'm gonna grab these materials and cut this just underneath the hook point. So you can kind of see the hook point popping out right there. That's gonna give me an idea of where I need to go with the rest of them. Okay, so now I have to take it out of the vise. I'm gonna brush the tail fibers up and get them flared out. So we want them to look something like that. I'm gonna hold it vertical and cut these at an angle that we're starting to look like a bait fish now. And then we just kind of pick out some spots that we want to kind of round it over. Tweak the shape. We're looking for a fairly round profile. That's roughly the shape we're looking for. So now I'm gonna take some gel super glue, fly men dragon eyes. So some examples of some other colors you can do that fly in. A natural, chartreuse and white, white, gray, and red. So I hope I've helped shine some light on some different uses and maybe some tips on how to use EP fibers. Like I said, I've used EP fibers for a long time. My go-to is that Clouser. It really is. I, I, that, that clouser has fished well for me. Smallmouth and stripers and hybrids and just all that. This little bait fish pattern is a whale of a striper fly. That's a whale of a striper fly. 
I love that pattern for stripers. But you can fish it for smallmouth, for largemouth, for snook. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. So thank you guys for watching. And again, thank you for sending me uh, this stuff. Uh, Cicada Dave, that was that was a that was a seriously solid group of stickers. Uh, the best I've probably ever seen. <laughs> so thank you guys for sending me this stuff. Um, I, I've got more to go through. I've had a lot of questions on where you would send stuff. I'll have my mailing address in the description below. If you want to send something, I'll try to, like I said, I'll try to get it on here. Uh, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. So, um, yeah. <laughs>